hello guys hello beautiful people <laughs> you're welcome back to my channel you're welcome back i welcome you back to my channel guys let me clap for myself i made it today it's actually long that i've been wanting to you know talk about my uh what i do my job but <laughs> it hasn't been easy guys i've been waiting for my girlfriend nancy we met us we know us uh, for about 12 years now guys so she knows much in this healthcare sector so i wanted us to do the video together but she's not been having time she promised to come to the channel but i i just thought of making an intro video so guys here on my channel you all know it's all about creativity everything around creativity guys that's what i do here on my channel and uh, like i said from time to time, I will be chipping in uh, a few things about my job, mostly my experience and my advice, because all the other things, you're actually going to be learning it when you start your program or when you want to venture into this sector. So I'm just going to be uh, chipping in some advantages and some disadvantages and some of the stuff that you're going to be having along the line and how you're going to go about it just a kind of telling you some things ahead of time before they happen they happen to you moving forward guys so you guys know your sister i'm stella if you're coming across my face for the very first time or you're passing by and you stopped thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for your support what do you need to venture into healthcare? you don't need much all you need is to be motivated do you really like to work in this sector do you really love taking care of people your motivation is very very important not that uh, maybe you see that peter is virtually into healthcare and he told you okay the pay is good or the job is good you just say ah, okay let me join peter no 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 if you do that you're not going to last this is just the truth. You are not going to last. You won't make it. It has to be something you love so much. Something you love doing, guys. You have to have empathy in you. Do you have empathy? These are the qualities that you need to have. Check yourself. The qualities that you need to have. You need to be calm-hearted. You need to be a calm person. You need to, be, you need to have empathy. You, you need to be patient. This patient of a thing is really, really required. You need to be patient. You need to be hard working. You need to be a good listener. You know, you need to be that kind, that person that loves helping others. You need to be this durability. Bilas Barkite. They call it Bilas Barkite in, in, in German language. And you also need to be a social person who can mix up with others. You don't need to be, you, you need to be open. I know you can be reserved, but you need to be open. You need to be a friendly person. You need to, uh, you, you don't need to be sensitive. We all have boundaries. I have what makes me sad. I have what I don't take, you know. But you need to be, you don't need to be so sensitive. You need to be able to overlook some certain things because you're going to actually come across some certain things. You need to be able to overlook it. In fact, when you start over the years, you have to develop this shell upon yourself. You have to wear another coat <laughs> upon yourself, in insensitive coat. <laughs> yeah, because when you allow everything to get to you, you're not going to last in this sector. You get that? You need to be very flexible. Are you a person that is very flexible because in this sector if you are not flexible you can make it because you're going to be working in the morning morning shift afternoon shift night shift so are you that person who is flexible this, these are all the things that you have to ask yourself so if you possess all these qualities yes you can make it you know it's a career that is worth it. One, you will not be looking for a job. When you just, if you pick a phone and call today, they ask you one or two questions. You just say, can you come tomorrow for your interview? Or can you come next week? 
they need people they need people all the time in fact you can never be uh, they call it arbeit loss here <laughs> you can never be job hunting <laughs> if you are into healthcare, you have your certificate at hand, you can never be job hunting. How? <laughs> it's not possible, guys. So, <laughs> that, having said that, the next thing that I'm just going to be chipping in a few things. And uh, if you have any questions in my other videos, I will continue from where I stopped. This is just uh, a starting, a stepping stone to more things that uh, I'm going to say over the time, as time goes on. So, what other thing? The language, the language. This is another <laughs> thing that discourages most of our, our people. The language. Please don't let the language to discourage you. If you are motivated, if you really love to do this, before if you are just entering into Germany and you want to do this, you want to venture into this healthcare sector. Please try and go to the the German uh, the language school. You start with R eins. If you don't, if you didn't do any preparation at home, you start up. Please make sure you do your B one. After the A one, you do your A two. You do your B one. You do your B two. I do. I will advise you not to stop at B two. Go move further to do your C one and C two. This will really, really help you a lot. So by the time you start up, you can be able to cope with with the. With the language you can be able to read you can be able to write you can be able to understand all that is being asked and all that is required of you because it's not uh i, I must tell you the truth i wouldn't deceive you uh, to say it's something it's not a child's play it's not a, a primary school thing it's not uh, something that you and with the language barrier uh in between it makes it much more difficult because you still need to get home uh, use your dictionary to check some words that you are not really familiar with. Break, the, break it down before you can really understand what is being taught. So if you do that, your C1, C2, it will really help you a lot. Don't stop, stop at B1. You just venture into this. Uh, it, it, you will be very uncomfortable in the midst of others. You will be very uncomfortable when you go, to, when you go for your practicals. You, you, you can't associate. You can't discuss. We all know that we are not, you, you just came, you, you, are, you are from another country, it's understandable. But when they say that you've given, you've given this effort, you made this effort of learning the language, of course your intonation is not going to be like somebody who is like our children that, are, uh, that they were born here. No, nobody said you change, just try as much as possible to, you know, just be in between. And you need to communicate with them. They need to understand you. They need to hear. You, you guys need to communicate. You, you need to understand the patient. In the hospital, they call it patient. It's ambulant. They call it a client. So it depends where you want to work at the end of the day. That's, that's by the way. That's not a topic for today. So please try as much as possible. Because the people will just be making jests of you. Especially when they notice you can't communicate. And someone will just try to... You know, engage you in some, you know, something that are not unpleasant, and you stand there. You cannot explain yourself. You cannot save yourself. It's it's not a good. It's a, a, a an ugly incident that you wouldn't want that to happen. So in order to be free, in order to fit in, you have to learn the language. Very very important. So another thing that I want to tell you today, my other advice is that I know we are coming from home, and some people. They are the breadwinner of their family, so they just want to come and start up something and uh, eventually start work as soon as possible. Most of our brothers and sisters, they don't really, w uh, they think three years or two years is too much or four years is too much for them. They really need to make money as far as, as soon as possible. No, 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 hell no. These three years, these four years or two years, I would advise you do three years, guys. I know it takes time. Okay, let's say you take one year to go to the language school or six months or eight months. It, dep it depends on how fast you are. Then you do your three years, much more better. They have two years, they have one year, they even have six months. But please, anything less than two years is not advisable because you won't earn 
a sustainable income. In fact, it won't sustain you. You will end up going to look for other jobs to support yourself. Even people that do three years, they are still looking for side income to sustain because of the 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 level of life that we have here <laughs> if you shake your body you pay bills <laughs> so guys you guys all know all our brothers and sisters everyone abroad all knows what i'm talking about about paying bills so you need to have a sustainable income at least when you wake up in the morning you you do your afternoon shift you do your night shift at the end of the month guys you need to have something that makes you that will make you smile something that will motivate you to stand up from your bed to go to work so please no matter the pressure at home i would advise you to do in fact do a three years course it's much more better because if you do this one year six month thing they'll just be sending you around you will just be they will leave all the the, the unpleasant works for you if you go and be doing mini, mini, all these mini jobs that they pay less than, they, they, they don't even pay well. That three years that you spend to specialize in one sector, it doesn't matter if it's healthcare or any other, any other, uh, any other career that you want to uh, do. You after that three years, if you don't do it. If you roam, if you just go around and be doing mini mini jobs without any certificate, the money you get after uh, your studies, the money you earn in a, in a in a year, will cover up the money you've been earning in three years with your your mini jobs. We call it mini jobs uh, because you don't really have qualifications. You see, uh, all these jobs that you go there, they teach you what to do and you start doing and you are not going to you, you don't have any opportunity to you know advance to better yourself because you don't you don't have any qualification they just place you somewhere and tell you what to do and that's what you'll be doing for so many years yeah you cannot uh, grow you can grow you can make more qualifications to make yourself a better person so please try as much as possible to when you are here get your qualification if you if you if you if you have your qualification come with your certificate they will look into it and know where to place you it's just that the language will be a barrier you still have to that is the problem here when, when a lot of people are here they are graduates they, you study you're a graduate but because of the language when you apply somewhere you can't they can't take you you need to learn the language you need to be perfect before they can take you so this is it very very important learn the language learn the language so after that another thing that i want to mention guys i'm just randomly <laughs> picking one or two things that uh, i really want to chip in i'm just randomly picking it just a word of advice for our people so another thing that I want to chip in is very, very important. Do what makes you happy. If you're a teller from home and you are you came you are here, or is your hobby it what is what makes you happy? What you will be happy to stand up from your bed on a Monday and feel so excited? Do it. Do what makes you happy, do what you like. Don't just say uh, Peter is doing this. Let me go and enjoy. You won't last. You will get burned out at the end of the day. You won't last. The money will come. You go. You are. You are going to get the money, but you will not last. Your health is at stake. Doing what you don't love is the worst you can do to your health and to yourself. Please, don't do it. No matter where you are, no matter the situation. If you're doing what you don't like, please let it just be for a short period of time for you to just hold on to get what you like. Don't do it for a long time. If you do that, it's not good. It's not good for your health. I'm telling you the truth from experience. It's not good. And another thing, when you are in any circle, any environment, and you notice that 
the people around that are a little bit funny. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to, uh, because of I'm on camera, leave, leave. There are so many good people, and there are also so many people that are a little bit funny in this part of the world. So sometimes you just go to a place, it will be like they group all of them, <laughs> all the bad people. <laughs> so when you are there, guy, just pick your pieces and change to another place because no matter what you do to, to prove to them that you are different, they are not going to see it. This is just something that we I experience that I am telling you, they are not going to change. And if you continue in an environment that you will not be yourself, you will not laugh when you want to laugh, you will not shake your body when you want to shake your body because you want to prove a point for somebody. You want to prove that you, you, you are a Nigerian guy or a Nigerian girl that you are different because there is how they look at us because of some of the bad things that happen. Knowing fully well that everybody is different, but if you're in that environment that you feel that, oh, they are just, uh, when you shake, they look at how you shake and all that, please pick up your things and <laughs> change to a work conducive environment. It's very, very important. Check the environment you are in. And if it's not conducive enough, change. It's not good for your health. This is my experience. From my experience, I'm telling you. So, I don't want to go so deep today. It's just like a kind of a starting video from there. I'll be telling you other things that uh, you also need to know before venturing into anything that you're doing here. And another thing that we also help you here, try as much as possible. If you don't have a driving license back home, try to do your driving license. It will give you more opportunity to move around, to have choices to make. You have choices. You have choice to make a different choice because you have your driving license. You have a choice. So you are not just stuck at one thing or one place. You can be able to change, do some other things. It just makes you flexible. It makes you more flexible. Having your driving license is very, very important. If you, if you are with yours or you are intending to come here, please come with your driving license. When you come here, you go to the office where they will look into your driving license and know if you have to take few hours and your driving license will be for you. You start driving. Don't drop it at home. Bring it here. There's a way they do it here. And if you don't have a tour, after a little bit of relaxation, you do your one career, one some courses, you are getting money, try to do it. It's expensive, I know, but try to get it for yourself. So guys, what else? So lovelies, I don't want to say much today because it's just a starting video. And one more thing, guys. If you are coming to Germany, you know, like they say, German machine. You have to. Don't mind my small voice. So this, this small voice is just <laughs> natural. But when it comes to, eh, you have to be like machine. When, when, they, <laughs> when they hit you, you hit back. You understand? You have to know your boundaries. You have to open your eyes because this place, you see, everybody is just walking like a, a moving train. If you, if you are just doing belly, belly, belly. Somebody will just push you down <laughs> and start. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? Anywhere you are, you are doing your language school, you are doing this. Open your eyes. In environments where we are, they like to test you. They test you. When you don't react, you, you just have, you have to be a well-mannered person. That's right. But you have to also have a little bit of crazy, a little bit of... Hmm, I don't know. Let me not put it in a bad way so that it won't look insulting. You have to have a little bit of craziness in you. You have to be all weather, so to say. You have to be able to change your style depending on the situation at hand. That's what I'm trying to say. Be nice. Be respectful. Know your boundaries and know when someone is stepping on your toes to be able to say, hey, stop. Hey, you have to stop now. I can't take it. Be it at your working place, your boss, no? You take nothing for nobody. Just because we are coming from afar, you respect everybody. Do your work diligently. Do your duties diligently. But eventually, if somebody, after doing all those things, you're on your own line and somebody's crossing your boundary guy, tell that person, hey, no, you have to stop. So this is just it. I'm going to be talking 
I'm going to be just chipping in some other thing with time, what you need to know here in Hamburg. Don't come and say, go there, miss up with people. Miss up, don't miss up with only, if you are Igbo, don't miss up only with Igbo people. Miss up with all kinds of people. Miss up with white people, miss up with Ghanaians, miss up with all kinds of people so that you get information. You, you blend, blend yourself. Because when you just say, ah, my brother said this, my brother said this, you get stuck. And let me tell you, most people don't really uh, give you a first-hand information. I don't know why. So be mindful of the people you miss yourself with. Let it be people that want your growth, that want you, that want something good to come out of you, that, that, that want to see you smile. It's very, very important. And as a newbie, you just came in here. Try to miss up. It will help you learn the language very well. Miss up with people who cannot even speak English or your own language so that by the time when you speak to them, they, they answer you back with uh, the German language or their own language. By so doing, you get along very fast. You learn the language very, very fast. Right. So this is just it. I want to stop here for today. So next time, I'm going to be chipping in other things that you need to know about where we are so guys thank you so much if you are watching this video up to this time thank you so much for stopping by please do consider to hit that notification bell because i have a lot more to come i have a lot more to come <laughs> so all right guys i see you guys in my next video i love you guys stay safe bye